हेलो एवरीवन दृष्टि आई एस वेलकम टू टू द न्यू सीरीज ऑफ सिंपलीफाइड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज आईसीटी द डायमेंशंस वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आर इंट्रोडक्शन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ आईसीटी एंड एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ आईसीटी इन डेली लाइफ लेट्स बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन Information and communication technology is the term that stresses the role of integrated communications, telecommunications, computers and computing devices, necessary enterprise software, storage devices, middleware and the audiovisual systems. ICT allows users to store, transmit, manipulate and access any information. In other words, ICTs refer to the convergence of media technology such as audio visual and telephone networks with computer networks by means of a unified system of cabling or link system however there is no universally accepted definition of ICTs considering that the concepts methods and tools involved in ICTs are steadily evolving on an almost daily basis The term information technology was given by Jim Domsic of Michigan in 1981. Examples of ICT in everyday life is given below. Email that refers to ICT in online communication. E-commerce refers to ICT in business. Online banking refers to ICT in banking. E-government refers to ICT in governance. and e-learning that refers to ICT in learning now let's discuss about components of ICT first is computer technology computer technology leads to immense growth in the information transformation process and the developments in computer and communication technologies has enabled smooth management of information next is communication technology The rapid growth in communication technology has revolutionized the ICT sector. Modern technology such as fiber optics, silicon chip internet, telephone, television etc constitute an important component of the communication network. Next is optical communication systems. Optical communications are used in long distance digital networks which have revolutionized the telecommunication sector. Light is used as the carrier of information and optical fibers act as the medium of transmitting these light signals. Next is satellite communication systems. It has become one of the most popular and extensively used technologies in the ICT sector. Satellite communication systems enable transmission of information even in difficult geographical areas such as mountains etc. Now let's discuss about the applications of ICT in daily life. First is education. ICT has enabled students, teachers and researchers to gain knowledge with the help of computers and the internet. The initiatives to incorporate ICT in education are mentioned below. First is Swayam. Ministry of Education and NPTEL IIT Madras with the help of Google INC and Persistent Systems Limited developed this platform the platform is based on the three cardinal principles of the education policy of india that is access equity and quality the formats of study material provided under this platform are video lecture specially prepared reading material that can be downloaded or printed self assessment test through tests and quizzes and an online discussion forum for clearing the doubts next is i share for india it is an initiative started by the ministry of human resources and development that is mhrd to invite interested groups or agencies or organizations or communities to participate in the creation of an educational resources pool for school and teacher education It allows contribution in the form of mobile enabled apps or 
web based ICT supplementary resources in any Indian language for a school education or teacher education. Next is Saransh Portal. It is a web portal launched in 2015 by the CBSC, that is Central Board of Secondary Education. The primary aim of Saransh is to promote ICT in education in schools. Next is e Shala. It is an initiative to provide educational resources online to students, teachers, educators and parents developed by NCERT and the Central Institute of Educational Technology that is CIET. Next is Digital Gender Atlas. It has been developed to identify the low performing geographic pockets for girls particularly from marginalized groups such as scheduled caste, scheduled tribes and Muslim minorities on specific gender related education indicators. Next application of ICT is in the banking sector. ICT has become the center of the banking system and the rise of electronic banking services which includes services such as electronic fund transfer, automated teller machine that is ATM, internet banking, unified payment interface that is UPI etc. have been made possible due to the contribution of the ICT sector. Next sector is industry. ICT has contributed in the industrial sector right from production, planning, control systems, supply chain and management etc. Buying and selling of bonds in the stock markets have been made possible only due to the contribution of the ICT sector. Research and development activities utilize the latest computer technologies and the information available from different sources such as the internet etc. Next is Science and Engineering. In present, development in Science and Engineering largely rely on computers and telecommunication technologies. For example, Computer Aided Design that is CAD and Computer Aided Manufacturing that is CAM programs are used in many fields of engineering and manufacturing processes. It helps engineers in analyzing and designing complex structures such as thermal power plants, automotive vehicles, etc. Next is Cryptography. Cryptography is an encoding technique of communication where the actual message is encrypted into an unreadable format using various algorithms. This text is called Kiffer text. The receiver receives the message and decrypts the information into plain text. There are two broad techniques of implementing cryptography, symmetric key technique and public key technique. Cryptography implements the various aspects of information security like data confidentiality, data integrity, authentication and non-repudiation. Next is Internet of Things or IoT. Internet is a network of networks. IoT is an internet concept where each and every device or object is identified uniquely. Unique ID assigned act as the source of communication. These objects can be smartphone, laptops, house switching system, temperature adjustment systems and healthcare devices. All these devices communicate with each other as and when required. These devices have built-in features like sensors, Wi-Fi connections and underlining internet connections and can communicate with each other even without human intervention. Next is Net Neutrality. It means that users get unrestricted access to internet traffic without any discrimination. In the recent past, there have been violations of net neutrality by certain governments and companies. The Federal Communications Commission that is FCC enacted the Open Internet Order in 2010 in order to prevent large telecommunications firms from stifling competition and innovation online. The FCC in its order stated that the net neutrality rules were intended to preserve the internet as an open platform enabling consumer choice, freedom of expression, end user control, competition and the freedom to innovate without permission. 
In India, there is no net neutrality law and it is not regulated by the government. India is yet to come up with a transparent and impartial law. Next is business and commerce. Computers are used for managing the financial and business records, databases of workers and employees, etc. Digital technologies, sophisticated hardware, software and communication technologies are extensively used in day-to-day -day commerce and business transactions. Next is e-commerce. The online buying and selling of products and services through e-commerce platforms have been made possible by the use of information and communication technologies. Computers, internet, software and telecommunication technologies are utilized for connecting the customers and suppliers for carrying out e-commerce transactions. QR code or quick response code. It can be set to be a next level barcode with enhanced features. Unlike barcode, it is two-dimensional code. QR codes can store diverse information like web, URLs, pictures, text information, numbers, etc. There is no need for a dedicated device. Smartphone cameras and other digital cameras are enough to scan these codes. Simple and easily installable software is needed that translates the barcode into information coded into it. Next is governance. Information and communication technologies have made governance easier, smoother and citizen-centric. The provision of e-commerce services such as online post-matrix scholarships, online filing of income tax returns, etc. have been made possible through the application of information and communication technologies. EIE, which is a pilot project started by the Government of India for e-surveillance. E-surveillance is achieved by providing a set of cameras that are installed in an area, especially national parks, which can monitor and record the movement around it at 360 degrees. These cameras are fitted with night vision features. The system can raise alarms as to when required. In India, the National Tiger Conservation Authority or NTCA has approved the installation of these cameras in Corbett National Park. The benefits of ICT in governance are as follows. Better transparency as it allows the public to be informed on government decisions and policies. The efficiency of the current system as it would have the same money and time. Better facilitation of communications between governments and businesses will be possible. Next is medical field. Application of ICT in the field of medicine has immense possibilities. For example, MRI in which the computer combines the pictures and produces 3D images of the body's organs. New emerging technologies such as robotic surgeries performed by specialists from remote location utilize information and communication technologies. DNA supercomputer A supercomputer that is specialized in genome sequencing. It helps in fast DNA sequencing. It keeps a record of DNA information which will help researchers to analyze how DNA variations manifest themselves in disease. Many diseases like cancer that need extensive analysis of genome sequencing can be researched more vigorously. Telemedicine The interaction between patient and doctor without physically facing each other through a medium of communication. The medium of communication is usually IT and telecommunication networks. Healthcare facilities like consultation, diagnosis, status report, report analysis, etc. can be provided through it. Next sector is entertainment. ICT has also provided a boom to the entertainment industry. Various entertainment options such as online games, streaming music, digital television broadcast, satellite radio, etc. have been made possible with the help of internet connections via computers, mobile phones, cable connections or through Wi-Fi, 4G technologies, etc. Next is 3D Holography. It refers to a technique that enables the creation of three-dimensional images. For this, it uses a laser, diffraction, interference, light intensity recording, etc. And it allows the viewer to feel that the object on screen is moving with respect to the 
चेंज इन पोजिशन ऑफ द व्यूअर दस अपियरिंग थ्री डायमेंशनल सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग